So our next dish we're going to be preparing is our quinoa salad with fresh pomegranate. And you can see from this it has lots of bright colors, so it's a great addition to any Christmas or holiday meals. So we have some cooked quinoa here. Uh, our ratio is two to one, so one cup of quinoa to two cups of liquid. It could be water, it could be chicken stock, uh, whatever you, you prefer. Uh, but we've cooked that for about 15 minutes. On a, you bring it to a boil and then a low simmer. So quinoa, if you haven't had it before, um, a lot of people think that it's a grain, but it's actually a seed. So oh, interesting. because it's a seed, that means that it's high in protein and high in fiber. So this is great, and it's also gluten-free for those that are gluten intolerant or have a gluten allergy. And if you haven't had it, as I mentioned, it has a, a mild and nutty flavor. And this here, this one was pre-rinsed. So you want to look for that on the package, that it's been pre-rinsed, because if it isn't, then you've got to really rinse it under cold water, um, because it has a bitter flavor if you don't. Now we're adding here is uh, two tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of vinegar. Red wine. Yep. We'll add that through. Let's give it a little mix. You notice that it just kind of will absorb it up a little bit. At this point here, you can add salt and pepper to your taste. You don't really need to because of the fresh herbs and the scallion and vinegar and the olive oil. Mm -hmm. It kind of takes over the flavor, but I will add a little pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper. Yeah. For my own. Uh, so you just want to limit that always because. You, you know, we want to watch how much sodium is in our diet. That is true. And at the last second, we'll add our pomegranates. Pomegranates, as you know, they'll burst sometimes. I know I've made a mess of myself sometimes with pomegranates. I want to gently fold it through. And pomegranates are great. They're, you know, full of antioxidants, um, that nice red color. And they have a bit of a tart, like a sweet tart taste. So I'm just going to plate them up quick. Plate it up quick. And what you can do with the, the scallion, if you get down to this part here, most people, what they do is they'll, they'll end up throwing this part out. What I like to do is uh, use it as a garnish. So you take your knife and you go down the middle and you turn it. You go two cuts this way. You place it in some ice cold water for about, I'd say about 30 minutes. After about 30 minutes, you end up with something that kind of looks like this. It's kind of like a wild flower. You just put it inside and you can just put it on the side of the dish. That way you don't waste the onion and you end up with a nice garnish. That's great. And this is a really low calorie um, salad at around 210 calories per serving. Oh, that's perfect. So that's great. And the great thing I just want to add too about quinoa is that it's so versatile. So this is um, a seed that you can actually use as your oatmeal, which is what I have for breakfast with some nuts and you could put pomegranate in it as well. Um, you can use it as a side, you can use it in salads, in soups, and a neat thing that you can do with it is that you can actually pop it like popcorn and has a, have it as a snack. Amazing, I'm going to try that. I've never heard of that before. Yeah. That's amazing. One thing, one recipe I've actually used this for is crusting fish, where you take the cooked quinoa, you brush it with a bit of olive oil, and you put the olive oil side into the quinoa, and then gently, a non-stick pan, cook it till it's brown, and then finish it in the oven. It's a beautiful way to uh, add a, as you were saying, a gluten-free yeah. crunch to your, to your dish, right? So. Yeah, that's great.